make a motion that we contact the DRA and ask them to uh, postpone the decision on the $352,000 request to be withdrawn from the undesignated fund balance until the budget committee and the selectmen have more of an opportunity to uh, on, work man. through the details. And uh, at that point, then a, a decision could be made. I don't know how to phrase that at the I'll end. I'll second that. That sounds fine right. to me. Well, let's see the wording uh, on this. Get the wording down correctly. Somebody help me with that. That's all. It's just polishing Mike a little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, the I think we understand I think the, I think the polishing point was essentially that uh, you you wanted to ask the selectmen whether they've sent, or the town manager, whichever the case may be, whether the request of the DRA has been sent by them yet. If the answer is yes, then we need to send a response to the DRA asking them to delay the decision until the budget committee has a chance to collaborate with the board of selectmen. If the answer is no, then we simply request that the Board of Selectmen collaborate with us on that request prior to sending it to the DRA. Is that right? That was your intent? So you're asking the DRA to postpone? Right, if, yes. they, if, the, yes. if yes. the request has been made already. I think the motion And in either case, we're asking, asking both. Yeah. yeah. We're right. asking the selectmen yeah. to postpone, and we're asking DRA to postpone. I think you want to do that, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. you want to ask and, and In both postpone. cases, we're asking for collaboration on, on, on the process. Right. Trust but verify. Uh, can I toss this on the table? Really what we're talking about is we want the money to go back into the reserve. And if you give federal money back for the storm, that should go into the reserve. That's really all we're talking about. Well, I think that's one, one part of it. Yeah. essentially but it. it's a big piece yeah. um, so all right so what we are that? going to first ask the selectmen if they have already already sent it right mm -hmm. okay so this is a two-part piece if they've already sent it then we have to also notify DRA mm -hmm. that they should delay any decision on that point until such time that we have the opportunity to collaborate with the selectmen Okay. On the decision of the amount and the itemization and the rationale associated with the decision. Okay, so I think there needs to be some wording in there. Yeah. Um, we're going to, and it's, this is a big mm. piece together. Yeah. In one part, <clears throat> we are going to ask the Board of Selectmen if they have already forwarded this or the town to manager, the 300, yeah. the request, okay. all right, yeah. to DRA. Right. All right. They may turn around and say, no, we haven't, but we're going to, and we're not going to meet with you. Well, that's so that has to be coupled with a in, request. In that case, you'll be sending the request to the DRA to delay the decision until uh, such time. But I want to put that wording in here. Let, let's simplify it. To notify the selectmen and the DR, DRA to postpone a decision until more facts are known to both parties. Yeah, but DRA doesn't know anything at this point in time. They, if they haven't submitted it, Mike. I mean, why do you want to send right. a flag Don't even bring them in the DRA. water. If they, right. <laughs> if they haven't been notified, keep them out of That's the That's why the first contact point is with the Board of Selectmen right. slash mm -hmm. town manager. Right. right. To get the answer to, to whether it's been the, sent or not. We're willing to work with the Board of Selectmen. Um, and the town this, manager. And the town manager. Is sent, um, right. Just not cop lunch. There's, there's some things in here right. that really need to be discussed right. before we take that money out of that account. Before we make a decision. Right. And I use we plural. Okay. Yeah. Right. But we're not doing any of you that. You might not get the answers to your question until after the DRA already makes its decision. So well, we that's why be, she's going to immediately contact the DRA mm -hmm. if the request has been made and tell them tomorrow or ask them. Right, tomorrow, so, right? We have to tomorrow. do this tomorrow. Well, I, think, I think time being of the essence Can we uh, that wording that being used, that we should put a uh, deadline by you know noon tomorrow. Has this gone forward or hasn't it? Right, if she gets, if she gets a, a, an affirmative she answer that the request has been sent, or if she gets no answer by noon tomorrow, then she will send a communication to DRA indicating our desire to have that decision to be put on hold is that until further communication. I think we need to ask Mr. Bean, uh, Selectman Bean, is that doable? We can well, get he, he, if, if I may, Madam Chair. Certainly. Um, you know, again, I just go to uh, 11 of 16 on the on the director's report. Additionally, there's uh, for paving and reconstruction, that's 128,000 in the hole. Some of that is clearly um, to mitigate storm damage and potholes. Uh, so the, the board voted four to one last evening in accordance with uh, RSAs that uh, govern our responsibilities as selectmen for the prudential affairs. A vote was taken. 
uh, that is now in the execution phase, and it would be at my understanding that that is uh, the position of the town, and that the town manager will execute as he was instructed to by that four to one vote last night. And that would be my, my position. I would, I would vote against any motion otherwise, or else um, I'm, I'm speaking out of two sides of my face. And I, I say this respectfully to all the discussions. You'd be on board. Exactly. If I may say, and, and that would be my position. <clears throat> and then that your board and your board members um, would, would vote however you would vote. I, I'm one member, but it was a four to one vote last night. So you were given this report. Now, clearly, I just roughly added up numbers and what you, you pointed out before pointing this out. And that was at about. 372,000, give or take. And so now you're saying that this overage in the roads and the problems there is another additional 100,000. Well, I'm looking at fourth line 4312. That is out uh, in, in, uh, in the negative, $128,096. Right. Certainly, uh, that uh, some of that is to mitigate uh, storm damage and those tremendous potholes that occurred. Right. Um, so, but I'm already... So I'm already over the number that was requested. It was, aside from the report that you're pointing out yes, to us, and thank you for doing that because you bring us right to the spots that we need to look at. Aside from that, were you actually giving given a list? Because I remember hearing like 352,000 blah, 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 and like 18 cents, which was a very uh, it was finite. Three, it was uh, two hundred and forty-one dollars. I'm sorry. Three five two two four one. Okay, and ten that's cents. a very finite number. Yeah. All right, that came from specific things, and going through this in the report, while I can get in the ballpark range and say, oh yeah, here's two hundred thousand, and here's a hundred thousand, it still doesn't come to that number. Were you actually given a list? Uh, uh, and, and we we may have been. Uh, I did not read that uh, okay. specifically. We, you know, I do miss some of my reading materials mm -hmm. uh, from time to time, but uh, uh, I have confidence in the town manager. Yes, we all have trust in one another, but I'm saying. And he did for this explain. amount of money to take it out of, um, he did explain his his mathematics. I, I do know that I did read um, his uh, his uh, his data at some point in the last week or two, but I, I can't recall specifically the document or the title. But he did do it. He did explain his process. He did explain uh, the comparison and contrast between good snow years, if there is one, and bad snow years. And and he he did explain the process. I listened carefully. And subsequently recorded it and listed it again. Okay. Uh, and he did not include the federal funds for the emergency. Uh, on, the one, on, on the one storm. On, on the one storm, the one day, the two day, whatever it happens to be. It's clear we all agree that we're going to get some funding from the feds on this, on this uh, snow. Right. But that was not part of his formula. So his request, by definition, is an overage request. Just on that basis alone. And you made a statement about you gave direction to the town manager to make the request to the DRA, and you said it in such a way that suggested to me, and I wanted you to confirm or deny, that are you suggesting that this committee should operate under the assumption that the request to the DRA has already been made? Should we operate with that assumption? I have no knowledge of that. Should we? Are you recommending that we operate? I'm making no recommendation. Making no recommendation. All right, I want to be clear on that. Yeah, no. All right. Yeah. Uh, yes. Just a point of clarification on that um, that hundred and twenty eight thousand that, that you that you called attention to. That's that's a total of the of the whole department. So there's positive variances in the cleaning and maintenance, storm drainage, sidewalks, and that's offset in that negative variance of the three thirty. So the that total that department, uh, you know, that forty three twelve department total is one hundred and twenty eight thousand. I'm looking at line 4312 on page 11 of 16. It's showing a negative balance of $128,096. Right, and that's a total of a positive of 160 from the previous page on 10 of 16. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on the left-hand side there, it, it's, it's uh, a positive variance of 116,000, positive of 59, positive of 26, negative of 330. So the department total is a negative of 128,000. It's not a, it's not 330 plus 128. Yeah. The, the point here, me. you know, the selectmen have the have the power, the authority to move money around between all of mm -hmm. these budgets, 
and if you look through May, and you look, if you look through May, Mike happened to give me this one, they're still, they're, they're running, you know, they've, you know, spent 36% of, of the 015 budget, and they still have a positive variance of $16,675 in total. So, looking so at the big picture, I don't, I don't found see. Found the money somewhere else. <laughs> I, I don't see, and this is with the accrued open POs and everything, including the open POs that money was obviously obligated for. So I don't see at this point in time an out of control situation here through April or May. That's why I need to know not only what's been itemized, but how does it figure with the total budget, with respect to the total budget, not just one department or one line item or two or three items. The whole department and then the whole town's budget. The whole town budget. So, uh, right. and then what did we get for that first storm and how does that weigh in to this thing? And if, if, they, if they can reconcile it and it's, and, it, and, it, and, and with, through analysis and rationale, I'd, I'd be the first to vote yes. But right now, I don't have that information. Tim, and the, then we the got to wrap Expenses related to the snowstorms have already been paid. They have been. Okay. So there is no emergency need here right. to find money to pay it. Right. It's already been paid. Yep. We're already obligated. Right. And, we, and we have a $16,000 positive so, variance through May. Right. right. So there's no reason to, you know, proclaim an emergency right. and have the sirens blazing away. We should take the time to look at the rationale of how much is being requested, make sure it is a, 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 a rational yeah. uh, formula that's being used, but we really don't have a sense of rationality in the formula that has been enunciated, if for no other reason than that federal fund reimbursement was not specified if, in some other questions that are arised as well, other questions as well. Well, you know, I can understand emergencies. You know, you get a broken pipe and it's pumping sewer out into the main street, <laughs> you gotta fix it. Right. And the right. town manager's got the power to go fix it and spend the money. Right. Oh, if a bridge is blown out, we gotta fix that bridge right now. Right. Okay. But you don't proclaim an emergency four months after you've no. incurred the and expense. No, and you don't, and that, in this case here, you know, you may bring in the well, budget committee for some collaboration, but really the town manager's Kevin, got the, the power. The only thing I wanna add to that yes. is that in the beginning, this emergency happened at the beginning of our budget. So there is no emergency that's going to drain the budget mm -hmm. to the tune of $26 million in February. This, I'm sure, it has a little bit of forecasting for the down the road of expenses that will come on board. My biggest problem with it is that I felt it was a little bit premature and it's putting money that possibly will come back to us from the federal government into the budget and not into um, the reserves. So, the, and that's my problem with it. But, you know, yeah, you could pay the bills out of $26 million for what happened here back in February. So that's not my biggest issue with it. Um, so it's a forecasted emergency, you could argue, I think, is what you're saying, and I think that makes sense. But yeah. it's not a present emergency. Right. It's a forecasted That's one. why I'm saying we're a little we bit premature on the We have time to look action. at it in calm, deliberative fashion. Right. And that, that needs to occur. And maybe maybe we, should, we should just look at it from a point of view of asking the DRA to postpone any decision. That's essentially all we've been trying to That's do, but we want to incorporate... Uh, collaboration. Collabora collaboration. A sense of collaboration with the Board of Selectmen. We don't want to do it in a way that gives any any sense of you know, an, an yeah. adversarial yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, posture. So what we're offering is cooperation on it and just not jumping the gun, and it doesn't appear that th we need to jump that gun in the moment. Right. Sure. So the Ma question is, 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 is DRA? Yes. Yeah. If I may, uh, cool. an examination of the RSA that specifically addresses this, this request to the DRA, uh, point of uh, law was raised by Selectman Wolseley last night. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, explain that that was not the case, but the RSA specifically does, in, in some instances, uh, refer uh, that it must be approved by both the Board of Selectmen and the Budget Committee. Uh, as Mr. Welch related it last night, this particular instance does not require that. I don't think the Board of Selectmen uh, would feel that if the select or the Budget Committee wrote a letter explaining your rational uh, position that you have tonight in your opinion. I don't think it's adversarial. I think you're an independent board. You do so in performing your duties. Everyone here is an honorable person. You have an opinion. 
you have a vote, we would ask you to do it, and then the DRA looks at it, and uh, it's kind of a different conversation. The selectmen have their powers, there is the RSA, but I think just because you send a letter, and I would not support that, if you vote on that, uh, because I voted last night, yeah. but uh, I don't think that that means it's adversarial. I think it's we we, oh, we, we we disagree with um, honest, that position, an board. Yeah. Yeah. and and would like would like you to take a, a a look at that. And I don't think that's adversarial. Thank you, thank you, David. Thank you, Madam Chair. I think what you just said is great, and it would be great if you could share that with your fellow selectmen, so that it wouldn't seem like this board and the selectmen were at odds. Mm. But great idea. You know if. You said it exactly the way I would have said it. If you could just share it with your peers, that would be great. Be happy to do that. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Are we ready to take a vote? I hope so. I do, okay. too. I just want to clear what you had. Mike, make the motion, and was it Glenn that seconded the motion? Yes. Glenn, yes. yes. All right, what thank you. What was the motion? Can you repeat it for everyone in the audience? Oh, no, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> just oh repeat all discussion gosh. once for me. A little bit. <laughs> there you go. Hit the replay button. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to have to hit the replay button. All right. Did you write that down? I've got it, but I've written mm. it in a square. Okay. For, it, it's, it's two parts here. Contacting the Board of Selectmen to find out if the letter has already been sent, and if it has not, we're requesting from them that we meet jointly. If it has already been sent, then we're going to, I'm going to contact the DRA and request a delay in the approval until the Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen can meet jointly to collaborate on this issue. Perfect. Are we good with that? Yeah. Is there anything else? Well, if you get any vibes that they don't wish the town manager is going to go ahead and he's got orders from the board and... If you get any vibes that they're going to push ahead and issue that letter, then you have to as well. Just send the letter. Including if you get no response, by noon letter. tomorrow, <laughs> send it. Mm -hmm. We Trust also don't wait for three more tomorrow. months, too. You know, we're trying to... Well, we haven't decided that yet. We're trying right. to accomplish two things. Protect funds on uh, one hand and forge... <laughs> a budget year with cooperation between boards and the town manager yes. because yes. that's how everybody is going to be best served. So if this is an exercise in futility, so be it. We've been open, we've been transparent. It's not I think we've worked around the table to a good end. The rest yeah. is out of our hands and in someone else's. It's an exercise in good government, so let's vote on it. All right, yeah. vote on it. All those in favor of the amendment? Unanimous. Or I don't know, no. Brian, you didn't. The motion, you mean. The motion. The motion. Yeah. Did I, what did I say? You said amendment, but amendment. you meant motion. I'm sorry, the motion. All right. All those opposed? And abstentions? I, I voted against it. You voted against it. We got it. it. <laughs> did you vote, Phil? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> Good. You voted no, yes. I voted no. <laughs> he, he, he's one of, three, <laughs> one of three rebels here. <laughs> Okay, good work. Yes. Exhausting. That didn't yeah. take that long, did it? No, no. But that was honorable discussion, though. It yes. was, it was. It's good I will set the stage actually. for the rest of the budget year. Well, I hope so. Well, it was an important issue, and it was yeah. worth the time, so. I, I think I'd like to wipe out numbers 10 to 13 and just go, no. Um, that was good work, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you very much. That's what happens when everybody participates. It's a good thing. <laughs>